Okay. And I can just, with the frames, yeah. hold it in front. All right. Should I take this yeah. off? Let's see what we got. Okay, good. That's oh, right. So this is your... That's right. Yeah, this is your feeding station here. All right, let's... See, look at this here. Look what's going on here. You see that? That's it. Yeah, that's a wasp attacking, yeah, attacking one of our bees. Yeah. So hopefully we don't have too much of that going on, but you know, that's the trials and travails of beekeeping. I found that at my hive the other day, you know? I just saw a video on that. I saw the uh, bees attacking the wasp. Okay, that's pretty good. Not too much going so on. So that's, there. yeah, they, uh, that's, they're, so they're built, this is our honey super, so they're building out honey on this. Do we have a queen separator here? No, I have one, but all right. But we couldn't so identify. So that's pretty good. So um, we are, we're just going to get rid of this for now. Gotcha. Until we, you're going to set up, let's like set up your, your uh, around October 1st. Okay, so it looks like we do have some, where's our frame holder here? Right here? Oh yeah, so. Take a look. So they just started building out on this side. Yesterday they said something about that being an indicator of how warm it is in certain spots. So should I take a look at this too? Yeah, take see if we have any of those small hive beetles in there. Oh, oh, look at that. Good, we caught a couple. There's quite a few. Oh no, I say this. Oh, there's a lot of junk in there though. But yeah, there's some junk, but I do see a couple beetles. Yeah. Right? No, I thought the junk was the beetles. Now I realize. All right, so. Some help getting that out, or yeah, let's just you want to grab that corner and let's just take a little quick look at it. I'm oh, it's a lot of in front of the camera, it's a lot of brood, right? Cap brood. Well, that's I think that's honey, those are honey cells. Oh, really? That's not cap brood, I'm pretty sure. Let's just get a video of it, but we can show it to the beekeepers next week, too. But this is one frame of your honey here, your honey super here. So we have to be careful because we don't have a queen separator. So we're just gonna pop it right back in. But they're working, yeah. you know, they're working it. So we're gonna take this super off and put the, uh, put your brood box on top. Okay. And then hope that you're, that we can get uh, your population to increase here. But let's take a look at your, your, your brood box from underneath here. Okay, so now let's make a plan. Um, we're gonna put, put on this on top of this one, yeah. yeah. Okay, and let's take this off for now. And you're, yeah, that's, if you can, can you get, hold on, let me just, all right. Yeah. All right, yeah, if you could just put it, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, beetle right there, can you squish it? Oh, uh, just fell on the, on the ground. Right. Oh, correct. Okay, this looks okay. So they're definitely building a lot. What was this here? Was that this was your, the apple bar. That was your mite treatment. Does it look like it's mostly gone now? Or is what was there? Or is that it? Oh, I see it hangs in the frame. Yes. Let's do this. Let's take out this frame here. Okay. And just take a peek. Might have to hook it if you want to. Yeah, here, let's get this hook on the, on the side. Which one are you taking out? Uh, this one right here. So there's a little tool too that, that, that you can get that grasps these things. Okay. Oh, it's almost like those, like those brick laying yeah. machines. Those brick laying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of. So here we have some, that looks like brood on the left, and they're definitely building out comb there. And that looks good too, there. A larvae, a lot of larvae. Do you see larvae? Oh uh, no, that's just uncaps. Um, no, it was shiny, I saw, I saw white, so I thought it was, but. I don't see any larvae yeah, yet. Let's just put it in front of the camera. Mm. I saw another beetle down in there. Fair amount of beetles in there. Hmm. 
I'm not sure why this comb is so dark, but I'm just gonna hang this on the side for now. And let's just take out this frame and take a quick look at that one. Oh, look at that. There's larva. See right down, like, what did I just see? Like, you see right down, like, 12 o'clock, right in the center, towards the bottom? Right. Yeah. Right. Hold on, let's see. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, let's That's just great. get a shot of that. All right, you know, we see larva. We see capped brood. See some pollen on the queen dress. is producing right now yeah. Tim we put it back together and we cross our fingers and hope that they can start filling that second brood box and start getting uh, bees uh, ready for the winter so we're just gonna put it right back together nice and easy your bees are really sedate dude I was getting dive bombed all over the place <laughs> the other day you know yeah, one of the guys in the class said he, he has he has angry Russians. You see, he, you see, this is all built here, too. So yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, so I don't know yeah, why I see any, um, your honeycomb, why that's so dark. Was that already there from before? Did we put it back in like that? I don't know. I don't know. So, all right, so um, I'm giving you a, a bottom board. Mm. Hold on a second here. I don't like the way that's going in. That's better. That's better. Okay. There we go. That's probably how it came out. Um, let's put this your new brood on top of this. Oh, really? Yeah, because we want 60, we don't have 60,000 bees in here, unfortunately. Okay. That's, ideally, that's what we'd like to have. You want to put a little smoke on the top of that and just kind of, I'm just going to kind of, oh, let's get that rack off there. I got a brush too. If you that's it. Yeah. yeah. I think that's enough. And then we'll just, yeah, that's it. And then Antoinette slides her boxes on like this. So as not to crush it. She's she got a really a colorful hive here. Thing. <laughs> it's great. Look at this. Alright, good. Alright. So we wanted to see. Uh, eight frames full of brood and bees. We don't have that, All but right, we'll see. This isn't a perfect world, so we're going with the best that we have right now. It wouldn't hurt to start feeding them. I don't think, Tim. Okay. You're not. You, you're not going to eat the honey anyway. Right. So if you could get that system going, um, actually, yeah. So that's how that. Oh, I see the bees crawl up inside this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they, yeah. they come up through here. 50-50. And then they, and then they climb down the. Um... Yep. I'd fill, I'd fill this with 50-50 today. You know? Okay, I'll make some. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to wait to the next bee meeting, if you'd ask him. But any resources we could get into your hive now, and now we're losing all these resources from. Um, um, Oh yeah, we want that top piece on first before we put the feeder station on, right? right. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, so the way this is, they would, so this, this piece here really? okay. will go on top of your honey super. Gotcha. Um, and then this, if we had it set up differently before, it was incorrect. This um, is a spacer, even though we have it on a, uh, is that a brood box? Tim, let's change this. Let's get rid of this. And where's that? Do we let's get that honey super it's in the back of your truck? Yeah, that's in the back of my or the yeah the one that, I, that, that that's all um, that stuff in the back of my truck. Yeah.
Holland patties and sugar water seem to be the go-to. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. The fondant was pretty cool because they, um, and what I learned is that they mix it with the, um, you know, with the perfect. Oh, let's go with the shallow. Yeah. No, this one's a little too high. What let's go with the shallow. We have one that's even more shallow out in the truck. Well, I, I don't want to sound vain. I, I like. To, I want to go with the color scheme. You do, um, <laughs> that's fine. That's yeah. fine. It's just we we want to discourage them from building in, in bigger spaces. But no, I well, hear what you're let's saying. Start with those. Yeah, yeah. Say. It's not going to hurt anything. Yeah. Even we're, you're going to have it open in about two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Right. All right. Ready? Yeah. So, and then. I know I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah. for the spring. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where's the. Um, oh, do we have this? That's curious. So we want. Oh, where's, See, I just oh here's the thing. What's yeah. in there? Okay. I just don't. You know what, Tim? I just. We don't want them going into here from the top. That's why we have. Normally, the mm. top would have this, but this lets bees in and out anyway. Even with the telescoping top on, they come up and through here. Now, you yeah. ever see that there's. But I thought you could flip it. And then it wouldn't. This piece? Yeah, so if you flip it, right? Then stop it. Right? You, oh, well. So if you think if you flip it and then you, and you cover it well, up, you can't get in, right? See, if you flip it, see, if we flip it like this. With the top directly then, on it. And then, all right, let's try that. Then, But we don't have the feeding station. Right? right, but I'm saying you can stop it by, by telescoping it, Let by me pulling see it that. tight. Let me see it. Let me pull that off for a sec. Right, so it won't. If they they still can get between the top and here. Even though you pull tight? Oh, okay. oh I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you that, know, have you seen, has any, I haven't seen any instruction on that. Yeah, that was one of the things I went over yesterday. I think it you is. Just, you just so it. how does it work now? So. I've been curious about yeah. this. I'm glad you're telling me. So if I, so if I pull it tight. Right, that closes it. That closes it. Right. I think that's why it's called, I, I think that, that was a telescoping thing. There you go. And then you flip it, see there's no. So that way your bees aren't getting in. Or, no, yeah. All right, now what about if we have a feeding station in there? And if I flip it, can it turn it off? Right. It and then it I just put it. And now I pull it, so there's a space here. Right. I can get into You've got to pull it back a little bit. Yeah, you got to put it on. But yeah. And then you pull it up forward. I got yeah. you. And there's that little um, space in there that you get in. That's fine without a feeding station, though. Yeah. So, but you, you, need, you probably should put on your feeding station today. So now when you do, when you put your feeding station on, how are you going to treat, you're going to put the top on top of the feeding station, right? I would think so, right? Right, but you don't want bees getting into here. They'll just drown in here wholesale. So you don't, you want to have this top set up. Well, yeah, then I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it the other way. I'll do it like I'll, I'll do it as I just did. Yeah, but then with that here, let's try that. Would that allow, if we had it set like that, and had this on top. Okay, hold on. And then we go to this. And then you put, yeah, your tel that would work because you're, but do, or do we go the other way around? Do we have it like this? So the so have your feeding station. That's what I was thinking, okay. yeah. Okay, and then have your top. Yes, yeah, that's what. Okay. Well, why don't we set it up like this right now? Gotcha. All right. All right. Is it, I think that's yeah. probably the intended way. Right. Now, do we want this? Well, for now, I think we want keep it this. Open. We, well, if we we don't want it open on top. Well, not necessarily when, because we don't want bees getting onto this side of it. The bees come up through the middle. Yeah. And they, yeah. So. Well, if, until I'm feeding. Yeah. Right. Until you're feeding. Right. Yeah. So, but it um, in the mean, but you don't even want bees in there at all. Yeah, you're right. You know what? Oh, see, this is broken here. Yeah. You have another one. Oh yeah, I do. I have, yeah. I have to clean it. I have to clean it. Okay. So we'll keep it out for now. Yeah, keep it out for now. And you can do that but should I take this off then? Because we don't want them. Well, if it's going to be today, you'll be all right. But if you're not going to open it back up today, you should probably take it off. I probably won't open it today. Okay. So let me, yeah. Good. Right. Knowing my I'm not. I don't think I'll make the food today. And yep, no, that's fine. Probably. So we want this. You want to leave this uh, this time of year? Do we want it open or closed at the top? We probably want it. Let's just go with open. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Awesome. Now, do you want those, uh, do you want to hold on to the other pieces that I have in my truck for a, a possibly putting together a second hive next year? Not yet. All right. I appreciate it. And okay. I'd rather use it for some of your other. That's fine. You know. So yeah, we like got, your, um, so we got most of a second hive um, yeah. out of I appreciate uh, your stuff cause. that we've been yeah. um, salvaging. Getting donated. Yeah. That's so awesome. We're going pretty good. Excellent. Well, that's awesome. You, um, let's see. Well, Tim, I think you have everything you need to get through the winter right here. I'm hoping. And then I need, well, and then we talked about insulating the hive yesterday and all that stuff. So all the uh, million different theories on that, right? There are. I mean, in every video you watch, they have different suggestions. David Burns, he raises bees in the Midwest, but he's got, he puts new videos up every day. And that's what he's talking right about right now is fall beekeeping and what to do to get things ready for the winter. So um, between that, but again, you, if you go with my bee partner right now, um, she would um, recommend um, <laughs> doing, taking all the honey and putting sugar water on. That's what she's huh. been doing and, and it seems to be successful. Seems to work, yeah. 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 That. Okay. yeah. Um, interesting. All right. See, this is that, this is that frame tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you can get a grip on it from the center. And then you can use that core that I think this was probably going to be. Yeah, there's another one over yesterday, too. Of course. You can cork it. Yeah, you can it. But unfortunately, I don't have a cork. All right, so I'll just start with this stuff. Very good. All right. We did catch a, uh, a hornet, but it didn't seem like there were any more in the hive. Yeah. You know, they like grab a bee and split. You know. Oh, so they take a bee. Gotcha. That's what it looked like. That's how I killed a. That's how I killed a hornet the other day. So as you need pieces for your hive, um, I've got like a a bunch of just different various stuff now. So if you need, don't buy anything if you need it. Shoot me a text, right. I probably have it. All right. You know, between the stuff that we collected from your leftovers and a bunch of other stuff, we just have it in our bee shed. So, yeah. And maybe when you get a chance, we can look can come to Stevenson Park and take a look yeah, at that. Yeah, I'm setting up, uh, I'm setting up bee stands for six hives over there for next year. So, uh, I'm kind of getting that together before the uh, winter comes. See that. Yeah, your bees, my RB.